Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews here and I just want to show you quickly how to connect your Photoshop Elements through to your iPad app so that you can drive Photoshop Elements from our special iPad publication. So if we just go in Photoshop Elements now and just up to File and just across to Edit and down to Remote Connections. You see that it automatically comes up with a service name. Make sure that you click on Enable Remote Connections and you type in a password. It can be whatever you like. Just make sure it's something that you remember. Click OK. You also need to make sure that your iPad and your computer are both on the same Wi-Fi network. So make sure that your iPad and your computer are both on the same Wi-Fi network. Then if we go over to our iPad and just locate our application and open up one of the issues that actually has the push to Photoshop elements uh, connection built in. If I tap on just the page you'll see in the top right hand corner we have a little PS button. Tap on that PS button and you'll see that we have the Photoshop elements server already found. So we'll tap on there and just pop in our password and then click connect. Once it's connected you'll see this little sign show up to say that it is successfully connected and then you can work your way through to one of the tutorials that has the built-in push to Photoshop Elements functionality and here we have it. If you work your way through this tutorial, you'll see that the first button that we have is this little green button here. Tap on that one and automatically the image is opened up in Photoshop. So that's coming from your iPad and it's opened up into Photoshop. If we go then to the first step and tap on the blue button in the first step, you'll see a big change in our layers panel. If we go to then step two and tap on step two, you'll see another change in the layers panel. So we're actually performing the very steps that we're talking about in the publication here using these buttons. Tap on step 3 and you'll see the final result. It's a great way to see the very steps that we talk about in the publication right before your very eyes inside Photoshop Elements. So make sure you keep an eye out for those tutorials that have this special push to Photoshop functionality.